The digestive system is so fundamental that it is basically step number one in the guide on how to make an animal. In fact, there is a hollow tube that runs through the body. This hollow tube is the digestive system and pretty much every animal has a digestive system of some kind or another. But they are not all alike. But in fact, they are quite different. The digestive tract is specifically adapted to animals feeding behavior and diet. For instance, a house fly eats mostly liquid or finely granulated food. But before it does that, it does something that we all find quite disgusting. It pukes out its digestive juices all over its lunch and then lets those digestive juices process the food for a bit before it sucks it up into its mouth. Spiders also do the same thing. Imagine if we humans were to do that. Most vertebrates. Oh, by the way, vertebrates are animals that have a backbone. We are vertebrates. So are dogs, monkeys, zebras, cats and cows. All of these are vertebrates. Anyway, most vertebrates ingest food through one end of the tube. The digestive system processes it and gets rid of the waste through the other end of the tube. No muss, no fuss. Well, actually, there's a little bit of muss towards the end, you might have noticed. The beauty of it is that the whole process is run automatically inside your body. We don't even need to think about it until the very last step, if you know what I mean. Among the vertebrates, the digestive tract may be short, long or even have specialized organs that do different things. This depends entirely on the feeding habits of the animal. For instance, dogs mostly eat meat which has been dead for a while. So a dog's digestive system has been developed to take in food, process it, absorb as many nutrients as possible and deposit the waste in somebody's lawn all in a period of about 6 hours. Hence, dogs have a very, very short digestive tract. Cows, on the other hand, take a very, very long time to digest their food. Close to 80 hours. This is because they have to process plants, mostly grass, which has a lot of cellulose in it. Cellulose is a very difficult carbohydrate to break down. Because of this, cows have a friendly microorganisms in their gut that help them break down the cellulose for them. In fact, cows adopt a process called rumination to help them digest the food they eat. We will anyway talk about this in detail in some time. And you will never guess what the chickens do to help themselves with digestion. These little birds have evolved a completely new system for their tooth because they don't have any teeth. To make up for the lack of that, they swallow small stones which are stored in another organ called gizzards. These small stones that they have eaten earlier help grind the cereals that they eat. Haha, did you think rabbits are cute? Let me tell you something about them. The rabbits eat a variety of foodstuff. They cannot get digested by the rabbit's digestive system. At certain times of the day, the material from the intestine is packaged into small round moist pellets. Microorganisms in the intestine act on these moist pellets to convert the indigested food into digestible nutrients. The nutrient-rich pellets are ready in the intestine and in order for the rabbits to use these nutrients, he must intake this material into the digestive tract once more. Now, how do you think this would happen? The rabbit gets a signal from his brain about these little delicacies which are ready to be passed out of the body. He eats them the minute they emerge. Rabbits will often look like they are grooming their hind end. But what they are actually doing is that they are eating these nutrient rich pellets which are actually their feces. Ugh. Sharks, when they swallow something that they cannot digest, are able to turn their stomachs inside out to expel whatever they swallowed. The world is full of crazy digestion stories and honestly, I wish I had the time to tell you all about them. All of this that I just explained is as far as the adaptation of digestive system or the digestion is concerned. Now, if you look at different birds, they have adapted the style of their beak to suit the different kinds of food that they eat. Let's look at a woodpecker. Their beak is long like a chisel. Now, let's ask why. The answer is again the same, to help them attain their food. But what do they eat? Well, they eat small insects that live in trunks of trees. So, they peck the wood off the trees and eat the insects that reside inside them. Similarly, kingfishers have a spear-like beak 
as they can eat fish and a beak that looks like a swiss army knife in crows as they eat fruit seeds insects and fish the beak is adapted in a way that they can add advantage to the bird while catching its food in fact every animal has undergone some adaptation or another to survive if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now